city is hoping to change the way migrant shelters are run in an attempt to save some taxpayer dollars, but also to keep more of the money they are spending on the crisis here in Chicago. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza has those details. She joins us live from the newsroom. Sabrina? Jim, the city is in the process of requesting proposals from nonprofit and community based organizations they want to hire to run at least eight migrant shelters. It's a move that should mean they're spending less with their highest paid, most controversial migrant vendor, favorite health care staffing. A lot of the shelters were being operated by the same operators. That's changing. The city just released a request for proposals, an RFP. Those contracts will go at least through the end of the year with an opportunity to extend if needed. Of the city's 18 shelters in operation, we're told two of those are already run by community-based organizations. They're looking for six more that will be run the same way for a total of eight. That's almost half. It's managing the pre-existing spaces. Moving money away from Kansas-based healthcare staffing firm, Favorite Healthcare Staffing, where the city agreed to a budget of over $200 million between October of last year and October of this year, and into the pockets of Chicago area nonprofits. This as the city council budget committee voted to spend an additional $70 million on the migrant mission. The state and county had already committed an additional 250 million combined funds to supply enough beds and supplies through the end of the year. The state is taking more than a majority of the cost. An additional promise from the state. The city says Governor J.B. Pritzker committed to over 2000 new beds to be placed somewhere on the city's south side. It's not clear where or when. What it'll look like going forward in the long run is creating a unified shelter system so it's not just a migrant system and an unhoused system for those who aren't migrants, but one system for anybody who needs it. We, of course, reached out to the mayor's office about all of this, asking for any details about this new RFP process. They told us they're looking into those details and will get back to us. As soon as they do, we'll update the article attached to the story on our website. In the newsroom, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Sabrina.